everybody. Happy hump day. <laughs> oh my goodness. Here we are. We are in the middle of the week. So halfway there. That means the weekend is so close, right? So grab your cup. Let's settle in. Let's have a sip. And then we are going to talk about believing in you, right? Because uh, sometimes we get so wrapped up in worrying uh, if we're good enough, right? Good morning, Ivana. Hi, Cindy. Good morning, Katie. Nice to see you. Good morning, everybody. So each each day, you know, we get a new chance. Each day, uh, you have an opportunity. And you have to ask yourself, how am I starting this day? What am I going to tell myself today? Good morning, Sherry. Good morning, Julie. Hi, Alan. Good morning. Good morning. So each day we have this fresh opportunity. Many of us, we have goals or dreams, ambitions. And, and those ambitions could be just to be happy. Those ambitions could be to move forward in your career. It could be to fall in love or to stay in love. <laughs> Good morning, Jerry. Good morning. Hi, Debbie. So each day we have this opportunity to really create who we are, to really stand in our power with it. Good morning, Kelly. But if we don't believe in ourselves, we're not really going to get anywhere right? We have to start believing in us. You the way you are. You with your idiosyncrasies. You with your mindset, your personality, all of you. It takes loving all of you and believing in you to help manifest what it is you desire. Rather than looking outside to bring it in, Good morning, Lee. Hi, Shanice. Rather than looking outside to bring it in, we have to start in and put it out. Good morning, Sean. A lot of times we're constantly looking to someone else, to something else, to some sign, to some symbol, which is great. I do love signs and symbols. But those signs, those symbols must start from within. Believing in yourself, in your core, in what you want. And... Finding clarity with that through quietness. It's through the mindfulness, the presentness, the quietness that we can figure out who we are, all of it, the whole kit and caboodle, loving all of it, then moving it forward, saying this is all of it, fairy dust, let's put it out there. <laughs> let's sprinkle it everywhere. But when you start to believe in you, when you truly believe in you, then as you move along, you're going to be comfortable with who you are. You're going to be comfortable with where you are. So you're not going to feel as anxious. You're not going to feel as lost. You're not going to feel as um, needy, as needy, because you're not waiting on someone else to validate you. You're not waiting on someone else to give you the pat on the back, right? So... We all love pats on the back. Of course we do. Hi, Ellen. Hi, Dawn. We all love the pats on the back. We all love the encouragement, certainly. But when we want to have, when we want to fulfill our dreams, when we want to manifest the life that we're envisioning, the life that we desire, you gotta believe in you. I don't care what anybody else says. I mean, listen, people along the way are going to want to kind of knock you down, want to pull you off, want to, you know, be naysayers, which is a whole nother video. <laughs> but people are going to want to pull you down. But when you believe in you, you're going to attract those who want to rise up with you, who want to sit there and say, yes, that's it. I get it. I hear you. That's me too. So when you have an idea, when you have a feeling, when you have a vision, believe in it, believe in you, believe in your power to pull that in for yourself. 
You, you are so deserving. But so many times we tell ourselves that we're not. We convince ourselves that it belongs to somebody else. Well, why? Have you not worked hard? You're not a good person? Have you not put it out there? You deserve it. But you got to believe in that, right? You got to believe in that. And when you do, you're going to start to see the road unfold before you. You're going to be able to pull it in. You're going to be able to sit there and build upon it. Okay? But be you. Be, live, you. <laughs> right? Believe in you. Be, live, you. It's, it's pretty, pretty simple when we think about it, but we make it so complicated because we wanted to give it away. We want to give it all away. We want to give our, our self-worth away. We want to give our lovability away. We want to give our accolades away. We want to give our ideas away, right? But these are all the parts of us that when we find a way to love, when we find a way to, to, to be them, to live them, to love them, we find the recipe, the way we need in order to fulfill our destiny. See, the deal is you got a destiny. I know, I know, mm hmm You got a life purpose. Yes, you do, mm hmm yes, you do. <laughs> so, you might as well get started on it. And I know you know it. I know you know what I mean when you hear that little voice, that little pulling you in, that little inspiration, that little thought, there's something more for me. Yes, there is something more for you. Yes, if you are hearing that, feeling that, seeing that, knowing that, there is more for you. But it starts with believing in you. Not trying to fit into the body of someone else. Not trying to fit into the mold of what someone else is doing. But to truly be your most authentic self that you love. You love you right? Because when you love you, all of you, even the stuff that we may not like as much, we still got to love, right? Um, and we also have to remember, like, there are certain things um, about each of us that we go, oh, gosh, if I could kind of be a little more of this or a little more of that. Um, we can all grow and evolve, but, but don't be a hater on yourself. There's enough haters out in the world, don't be a hater on yourself, okay? Be a lover of yourself. Be a lover of you, all right? <laughs> Evie's like, it's my therapy session. Yay! That's right, Rose, perfect in your imperfections. Um, but we have to ask, are they imperfections? Because what if they're not qualities that you have, even though I may perceive it as an imperfection, maybe it is what helps me contribute to society as a whole. Maybe it is what is needed and I just haven't accepted it, right? So it is fully accepting us for all of who we are, all of us. And yes, we're all gonna have struggles. You're all gonna have some doubts. You're all gonna have some insecurities. Um, it, it's natural, it's natural. But rather than letting that be the wave that runs over you, rather than being the dominant force and the dominant voice you listen to, just acknowledge it and then say, hmm, and say, I love me. I love me. Look in the mirror. Say, I love you. I am lovable. I am worthy. All of these positive affirmations are going to help you. All right, they're gonna help you manifest what you truly desire. But if you're not honest with this, if you're not honest with loving yourself fully, okay, you're gonna pull in things that aren't in alignment with you. You're gonna pull in things that you think you should be. You're gonna pull in people who you think are gonna be friends. You're gonna pull in situations you think are gonna get you to the next level, but none of them will. None of them will. They'll probably be disappointing because you have to start with you, fully loving you completely. 
so that the energy is pure, so that the energy is in alignment. And once it is, you're going to see how you match up and what opens up for you and when it starts to step forward, okay? So that is your inspiration for today. You feel inspired? <laughs> Say it with me. I'm inspired. I am lovable. I love me. <laughs> we got this, right? We got this. And, you know, all of you got it. That's the key. All of you got it. All of you. And if you're cloudy and if you're feeling lost and if you're not really sure, you know, don't get more chaotic with listening to everybody else. Pull inwards and just write it down. Write on a piece of paper. Who am I? What am I about? What's important to me? Don't write down what you think is important because it's how you were raised or what you were taught. Write down from your soul what's important to you. Write down from your soul what kind of people do you want in your life? Where do you want to be? What do you want to pull in? So that when you do, it's fully in alignment with you. All right? Yeah, you got this. Of course you do, Ellen. All right, there you go, everybody. So that is your 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 hump inspiration day. <laughs> and again, I see you guys sharing and caring, and I really appreciate it. So thank you for all that love. Thank you for all these beautiful comments. Thank you for joining me each day. And uh, I'll tell you what, we're going to get through this thing called life together. All right? So remember, shine your light and shine it bright. I will see you tomorrow. Bye, everybody.